What's up everybody? So uh, today I'm going to kind of explain the process of mounting a whitetail deer and uh, kind of do a short time lapse on it. But uh, first you need a deer. Here a uh, cape, which this has been obviously caped off the animal. And then it went through uh, fleshing, which would be removing all the meat and membrane from the skin. And then it's salted, which then it's safe to uh, be transported or shipped to a tannery or um, stored for a little while. Once salted and salt dried, it'll then go through the tanning process, which is kind of a reach. If it's been dried hard, rehydrating it, um, putting a pickle, which swells the skin, and it's uh, shaved with a shaving machine to make it uh, nice and thin and workable, and you won't get much shrinkage out of the, the leather. And then it's run through the tanning chemicals. So here now I have a tan skin. I've taken the measurement off the neck. It was a 23 inch neck. And then I order a form for the size of the deer. This is a 23 inch heavy swell um, upright wall pedestal mount. Um, I have pre-fit the skin already, which is putting the skin on to see how it fits. I need to make the head a quarter inch bigger this way and a quarter inch longer in eye to nose. I will uh, make those uh, adjustments and get back with you. Alright, so now uh, I have the form uh, completely ready to go. Uh, lengthen the eye of the nose, quarter inch. Uh, made that quarter inch deeper. I foamed it in, and then I had a little extra bond when I put the horns on permanently, and I used that to put across the seams, just because I had the extra. Then I roughed up the form. The form uh, comes real nice and smooth. It's from the mold release where it comes out. They put a mold release on it so it comes out of the mold nicely. But uh, you need to rough that up to get your leather to stick to the, uh, the foam. So that is roughed up. I have my lip slot cut in, and my nostrils carved. And I have a tear duct slot then, tucking that. Now the form is completely ready to go. I have to do uh, the skin prep, which I started some. And you can see, I have to take and thin out. There's an eye, and a tear duct. To thin that out to make it look like that. Just a thin piece of skin to tuck into the clay work. And its nostrils are the same way. There's a nostril unprepped, and there's a nostril prepped. And then, uh, lips, would be a lip long, the edge of the lip prepped. Here's a lip unprepped. So. And then the ears, you gotta pull the cartilage off. That one's done, ready to go. This one still has the cartilage. So I'm going to finish up the skin prep, sew any holes, and uh, we'll start to clay work. All right guys, now, now it's time for clay work. So uh, I have ear liners here, which are just plastic ear liners. I've already pre-fit and roughed them up as well. Um, same thing as the form, they got a mold release on them, so you want to rough them up and uh, make sure that'll, that uh, skin will stick well. And then the eyes, just a uh, glass eye, stick in them. That's a uh, medium brown deer eye.
Now that I got the clay work all done, got the eyes in, the ear butts, everything shaped, all the muscle detail, the nose pad. And I'm gonna cut these ears off, put glue on them, and slide them up in the uh, ears of the deer. Alright, so uh, white tail complete. I'm 
be the process of taking a tan skin and putting it on a form. This will need time to dry yet, and then uh, the finished work will need done. Just do a little epoxy work at places, anything that needs rebuilt, and then uh, do some airbrushing, touch up any of the, the uh, color that's been lost. The ears will need painted, painted around the eyes there. Um, once you rebuild the nostrils in there, um, that'll need painted as well as the lips and the nose. But I'll keep going over it as it dries, but uh, hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what's going on with your whitetail when you drop it off at the Zach's Thanks for watching.